Hello, U.S. History. Mr. Orm here. Um, I want to talk to you about our next upcoming unit. We're going to be talking about uh, really how the United States spread its influence around the world and really began building what we would call an empire. Uh, we're going to, two things I want you to start thinking about as we approach information in chapter 16. Uh, a couple of big ideas that we're going to need to know are going to be idealism and realism. When we talk about these two terms, we need to understand what they mean in regards to the United States spreading its influence around the world. Uh, one of the things I want you to think about is when we talk about idealism, we're talking about the motivation being to help others. Okay, So if you're an idealist, you want to help those around you. The opposing idea is realism. I re realism, the motivation behind realism is more self-interest. How does this affect me? And if you're a realist, you come to terms with, this is going to affect me in a certain way. So the two terms we need to start thinking about are idealism and realism. What were the motivations that the U.S. would want to start spreading its influences to places all around the world? One of the things that we're going to be talking about is the advice that our old friend George Washington gave to future leaders of the United States. He said, you know what? I think we should stay out of other countries' business. We should remain what we would call neutral. And that means that we don't choose sides in a particular, uh, a particular thing that's happening somewhere else around the world. So what I want to do is I want to briefly introduce you to uh, some of the places that the United States started gaining some influence uh, in the early 1900s. We see up here, we see places like Cuba and Puerto Rico, and we're going to talk about the Spanish-American War and the effect that it, that had on the United States. Other places like the Philippines, which are related to the Spanish-American War as well. We'll talk about the formation of the Panama Canal and its importance uh, really for uh, global trade and how the United States uh, uh, travels around the world. We're going to talk about some places like American Samoa. We're going to talk about uh, the Mexican-American War. Uh, we're going to talk about the Texas annexation. We're going to talk about some of these things and really understand the motivation behind the U.S. wanting to gain influence in other parts of the world and really gaining more territory. We're going to talk about the first time that the United States went to Japan. There's going to be a few different ideas that we need to start thinking about in regards to the relationship that the United States has with other countries around the world. It really began in the 1800s and really began to expand in the early 1900s. And we'll talk about this throughout our study of really the United States uh, becoming what we would call an empire. You're going to meet a, a lot of different ideas in this. And the, and the main ones that I want you to take note of at, from this video and from the first part of uh, chapter 19 are going to be these ideas of idealism and realism. Okay, the United States began to think that it was our responsibility to spread our founding ideals throughout the world. We're talking about things like democracy, liberty, opportunity, rights, all of those things that we've discussed throughout this class up to this point. And some people believe that it was our duty to go to different countries and spread those ideals really any way necessary. Sometimes that meant war. Sometimes it didn't mean war. But we'll take a look at some of those ways that the United States gained more territory and gained more influence around the world. Were they motivated by idealism, wanting to help others? Or were we mo motivated by realism, looking inward? How does this affect us? So these are some of the ideas that I want us to start thinking about in this noodle of ours in order to gain some understanding of why it is the United States became such a powerful nation and such an influential nation around the world. We're going to be talking about presidents that we already know. We'll talk about Teddy Roosevelt. We'll talk about Woodrow Wilson. We'll talk about William Howard Taft and some of the other presidents that were involved in the United States' influence around the world. Now, I want you to think, what are the two words that we need to remember from this video? Idealism. Realism. Think about what those mean. Remember them, because we are going to be revisiting them all throughout this unit. I hope you have a great day.
Thank you.